Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my January 2024 book haul. As you can see, my hair's all fluffy. Very cute. Um, anyway, I have a couple of books to show you here. I'm wearing my um, Christmas present, like a big Udi fleece style thing. Dane reads. Um, I got uh, The Shepherd's Crown by Terry Pratchett, which is the final Discworld novel. Um, I've been putting off getting this for a while, purely because Pratchett is one of my favourite authors and I don't want to have finished with the Discworld, you know? Um, and I got Terry Pratchett, uh, The Complete Ank Morpork City Guide, um, which looks really cool. I like the way this is put together. Oh, hey Shay. Feline Shay has just run through. Um, so yeah, it's quite cool. I don't know how I'm going to read this because I normally read on um, the exercise bike, but it's going to be difficult to do that with this one. So we will see. And I've had some stuff in the post which we'll go and get. I think, I think this has got some static to it because look at my hair. Anyway, check it. Hi. So these came in the post as well. I don't know what they are. I mean, I guess I kind of do because I ordered them, but I can't remember what I ordered. Basically, I got a uh, uh, some Amazon vouchers for Christmas. Uh, as a tradition, so I put them towards the books. All right, so we have Douglas Adams and John Lloyd, The Deeper Meaning of Lyft, a dictionary of things that there aren't any words for yet. Anyway, it's like a dictionary of made up words. I think they take a lot of like place names like Hove from Brighton and Hove, um, and they come up with uh, names for them. So, um, description of the expression on the face of a person in the presence of another who clearly isn't going to stop talking for a very long time. Let me just double check. Uh, yeah, that's so annoying. I've read the deeper meaning of Lyft. I haven't read the meaning of Lyft. So I've read this one. Oh, well, okay. Well, that's going straight back on eBay. Um, and then what do we got here? What have we got here? We have got, oh, okay. So some more Discworld. This is Terry Pratchett Presents. Dodger's Guide to London. Um, so actually, it's not Discworld because Dodger wasn't a, a Discworld book. But yes, um, based on a uh, a standalone that he had, little guide to London. That's very cool. Can't believe I've ordered the same book I've already got. Hello, Hawley people. I have a bookie to Hawley for you. This is Terry Pratchett, The Art of the Discworld, uh, with Paul Kidby. Um, and basically, yeah, it's just various drawings and things of characters from the Discworld. The unusual suspects, there. you've got your City Watch there. Um, who's that? The Odd Gods. Um, some Death in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, there was Nanny Og. Uh, so some of these are like pencils, some of them are like full colour, as you can see. Uh, and then it's got some text about the uh, characters as well. So um, yeah, again, I'm, I'm working my way through all of the Discworld books. Um, and this is one of the few that I haven't read yet. Um, I do actually have, there we go, there's the death of rats on my arm there. So yeah. Hello everybody, it is exciting news day time because I have some books to show you. You will remember I accidentally ordered The Deeper Meaning of Lyft. Uh, here is The Meaning of Lyft by Douglas Adams and um, John Lloyd uh, of QI fame as well. Now what is interesting to me about this is this looks like a Bible. Like if I'm sitting there reading this and you just see me reading this on a treadmill, you're going to think I'm reading the Bible. Um, not that I have a problem with that I guess. Um, I assume that was a deliberate design choice as well. Um, but yes. That's quite interesting. So yeah, dictionary of weird and obscure words, kind of like the lexicologist handbook, my own book, except that list words that actually exist. Uh, the deeper meaning of lift, liquid lists, like made up words based on place names, like High Wycombe might be, I don't know, when you smoke too much weed and you go and play a game of cricket or something, you know, it's that, that level of weirdness. I also got Geek Nation, How Indian Science is Taking Over the World by Angela Saini. So I read her book, Inferior, which was all about how science has screwed over women. Um, and yeah, this is basically, I guess, how, as it says, it's uh, how Indian science has taken over the world, but I suspect also quite a lot of it is gonna be about how science has screwed over India as well. Uh, there is also, uh, there's another one called Superior, which I, I can't remember what that's about. Um, but she's written a few of these non-fiction books. There's kind of, they remind me of some of like some of what Bill Bryson did um, with writing about science, which I think is very cool. So I'm all down for that. 
Um, and then I got this, which is Damnable Tales, a folk horror anthology, selected and illustrated by Richard Wells, forward by Benjamin Myers. It's got stories by Robert Aikman, Shirley Jackson, M.R. James, Thomas Hardy, Robert Louis Stevenson, Walter de la Mare, Fiona MacLeod, and more. And um, this was sent to me as a Christmas gift by um, one of my colleagues, by Lauren. So thank you, Lauren. And um, yeah, super cool. Mm. All right, guys. Um, it's actually, I'm actually quite hot now, but I'm still going to keep wearing this anyway. Um, first off, I got a very exciting book. I got um, In the Jingle Jangle Jungle by Joel Guion. Um, and this is a pre release uh, ARC uncorrected proof copy. Um, he played tambourine in the Brian Jonestown Massacre, which is one of my favourite bands. Um, and I was contacted by a publicist asking if I would like to read and review this. And I said, hell yeah. It's, interestingly, I'd seen that he was um, writing this because I follow him on um, social media. So, um, yeah, it's got some images and stuff in it as well. But yeah, so I'd seen he was writing this and it was very much on my radar anyway. Um, and they're giving me a chance to interview him as well. So it's kind of, you know... It's cool. It means I'm going to be able to speak to one of my heroes. I told a few of my friends and they're very jealous as well. This comes out on February 29th, 2024. Um, I'll be reading it as soon as possible so that I can factor in some questions for the interview uh, in that. And that's going to go on my radio show. Um, and then I want a job lot of Arthur C. Clarke. So we have a bit of a mix here. These ones, I've already sorted through it. So these ones are all of the ones that I've already read. So these, I've either already read these or I already have them on my TBR. So these are all going to be going on to uh, eBay. So again, all Arthur C. Clarke, we have The Lion of Khmer and Against the Fall of Night, The Deep Range, Glide Path, Report on Planet 3 and Other Speculations, Tales from the White Heart, one of my top books of the year, definitely recommend picking that up, Tales of Ten Worlds, 15 stories, and then we've got Arthur C. Clarke and Gentry Lee, Cradle. Um, and then the ones that I haven't read, we have over here. So, we have The Promise of Space, The Wind from the Sun, this one's my favourite title of the lot, Greetings Carbon Based Bipeds, and The Sands of Mars. So, those are all of the books that I've received in the post of late. And knowing my luck, um, well, I say luck, it is luck really, and you know, I'm fortunate to be able to get them, but probably more books will come in the post today, and then I'll be like, ah, oh, got a film haul again. So, that's where I'm at. Alrighty guys, just the one book to wrap up for you today, uh, that is, sorry, not wrap up, haul. Now I'm going to name this file wrong and it's going to end up in my wrap up, but anyway, I received in the post Warriors of God by Andrzej Sukowski, the author of the Witcher series. This is the second book in his uh, Hussite trilogy, historical fiction. And, um, yeah, it's big. Alrighty, folks, just the one book to hold for you today, and that is Light Perpetual by Andrzej Sikowski. This is the third book in that Hussites trilogy, uh, the historical fiction of his. This is the guy who wrote The Witcher. I enjoyed reading The Witcher, so I'm looking forward to getting into this series. I hope I like it, because I now have all three books. I'll let you know when I get to it. Alrighty guys, I got this book in the post, one I ordered. I'm slowly going to be working my way through all of this author's work. This is Angela Saini, Superior, The Return of Race Science. Uh, roundly debunks racism's core lie. Um, and yeah, her science-based books, it's non-fiction, but her science-based books in the past have been really good. Um, she's done one about how science is sexist. This is how science is racist. So, excited to, uh, to get to that. Very, very, very good. Yes. Alrighty everybody, just the one book to hold for you today. This is The Patriarchs, How Men Came to Rule by Angela Saini. This is, I believe, her newest book and the one I'm probably going to get into first. Um, well, let's just read you this small passage here. Um, in this bold and radical book, award-winning science journalist Angela Saini goes in search of the true roots of gender depression, uncovering a complex history of how male domination became embedded in societies and spread across the globe from prehistory into the present. So, definitely a food for thought kind of book. And, um, I mean, I obviously haven't read it, but I've read her stuff in the past and she is a very talented writer. She almost reminds me of Bill Bryson in that... It, it, it's non-fiction but it could be about anything and because you're learning and because it's so smoothly written and so absorbing you just enjoy it for what it is you know you just you just enjoy the journey so I'm excited to be getting to that soon
Alrighty everybody, I went to the charity shops, I've gone out of shots, you're just gonna have to put up with it. Uh, I went to do park run in Henley on Thames, uh, which is a nice little town near me on the Thames, as, as the name suggests. And um, I picked up a bunch of books from the charity shop. So I've got The Emperor's Edge by Lindsay Baroka. Um, this one I basically got because um, we've used her as a case study for someone who's doing a really good job of uh, social media marketing um, and um, you know making a, a high career. Uh, making a good career in um, self-publishing so it's kind of fun to see her book out in the wild because it is still like I guess you would call it indie fantasy I mean she makes seven figures income but it's still just kind of unusual to see that kind of book in a charity shop and again because I've talked about it so much I was like I better get it hadn't I uh, I got Arthur C. Clarke and Frederick Pohl The Last Theorem just part of my ongoing quest to read all of Arthur C. Clarke uh, The Big Son of Mercury by Isaac Asimov uh, it's one of the David uh, Stark Space Ranger books. Wish You Were Dead by Peter James. A quick read. I uh, didn't know this was out, but I'm super excited to get to it because it's one of the Roy Grace things, and I love those. The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. Literally got this because uh, it's been popping on BookTube, and so I thought, why not? Let's see what the fuss is about. I can't actually show you, but I got two books uh, that are blind dates with the book as well, so I got a classic and a romance. Uh, they're all wrapped up, they're in the uh, bedroom at the moment. I have no idea what they are, but I thought I'd get one for Shay and I to give a blind date with a book ago. Tim Peake, Ask an, Ask an Astronaut, just like space stuff. Uh, Darkness Visible, William Golding. Again, with most of these, these are authors I'm trying to read everything by. There's more Golding coming. Uh, the Prisoner by B.A. Paris. She wrote a thriller novel called Behind Closed Doors, which was very good, and I uh, got a copy of that for Shay, and she really enjoyed it as well. So I thought, uh, get this and uh, see if this is as good as uh, as her other stuff. Cersei by Madeline Miller. Madeline Miller? Yeah, by Madeline Miller. Um, again, a booktube darling based on ancient Greek mythology. Pirates of the Astronaut. The Pirates of the Asteroids by Isaac Asimov, so this is the second Space Ranger book. I have actually read some of the Space Ranger books, and I don't know if I've read these ones, because I think they were published under different names, just to make things confusing, you know? Uh, Shirley Jackson, We Have Always Lived in the Castle. Well, I really enjoyed reading uh, The House on Cold Hill, was it? What was it? What was it she wrote? The Haunting of Hill House, that's the one. I really enjoyed The Haunting of Hill House, um, so... That's the other natural one to go for. Through the Keyhole by Louis Theroux. So I've read his Gotta Get Through This, I think his other one was called. Um, but I'm a big, well, I wouldn't say I'm a massive Louis Theroux fan in that, like, I'm not a super fan. Um, but I, I do enjoy his work, for sure. And I enjoyed the other book of his that I read. Freefall by William Golding. Another one to tick off. Picture You Dead by Peter James. Uh, and also A Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins. This one being a thriller, uh, uh, Picture You Dead being one of the Roy Grace like crime police procedural novels. Both of those are new as far as I can tell. Um, I wasn't aware either of them existed. I don't know if I'll like the Paula Hawkins one because I was a bit underwhelmed by The Girl on the Train, but I figure I'll give it a go. And finally, Frankenstein in Baghdad by Ahmed Sadawi. Uh, this was shortlisted for the Man Bucket International Prize. Again, when this one came out, it was quite popular on BookTube for a while, but also, you know, I do love me uh, a Frankenstein retelling, and I think it uh, sounds like quite an important one. So, that's my stack. I'm up to date with filming, hooray. All right, so those are all of the books that I bought slash received via, var via various means in the month of uh, January 2024. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.